live. I don't know if it started yet. All right, that's ready. What's up, guys? We're going live. I know I wrote 10 minutes. I wrote that two minutes ago. Um, it's not 10 minutes. It's not 10 minutes. Okay. All right, how does this work? Do I have to go to my page? Meeting is now streaming live on Facebook. Why won't it just take me to my page? Crazy. What's going on guys? All right, so um, I've been filming videos all day and we've been on um, social media all day for like the last two or three weeks. Um, and I'm doing as much as I can. So you guys are all following me. This is on my personal page. It is public. Feel free to share this and push this around anywhere you guys want. But I know a lot of people have questions on, um, unemployment, self-employment. In fact, even today, just going through some feeds, I saw some people even going to the effect of, um, oh my God, self-employed get un unemployment. And I'm kind of like, duh, like guys, Everybody gets unemployment at this point. So right now the pandemic has come out and this is the issue right now. So where, where we're at with the pandemic is it happened really quickly. We were all sent to unemployment and we were sent to do our unemployment through them as self-employed. Now, if you guys did it correctly and a lot of people did, you were able to go onto the website and actually create a self-employment uh, case and what happened is we all went through, it said it was processing. In fact, the bottom right of mine still says processing, but, but the next day it's ineligible. So if you're self-employed, it's all ineligible. And the reason that happened is because the system wasn't made for self-employed. So the system automatically kicks everybody that is uh, self-employed into ineligible, but the system's still there. In fact, I got my freaking card. That's right here. My address is on. I want to show you guys. I got my card and stuff in it today, but there's no money on it. What we're hearing now is that, um, and I'm, I'm following a few sites, so I'm going to give you guys a few sites to follow within Facebook and, and out of Facebook that you guys can check this as well, because that's all I'm doing is I'm literally going to the same pages nonstop, checking everything out um, as I can. If you guys are watching me, will you let me know how the audio is? Um, that'd be awesome. And then feel free to comment, because that'd be chill. So this, the, what they have to do is they're building a new system for self-employed. We don't know if we have to reapply to that or if we get to, uh, or if it transfers over. So at this point, we have no idea. Um, but know that self-employed gig workers, as long as you're working or we're working, audio's on point. I like that. Hey, John. I was going to say, hey, Bradley, because it's there. You have two first names. Um, we don't know uh, if we have to, uh, we have to do that, but Self-employment, so, so some things. You get half of the state's normal unemployment. I don't know what that is. I think it's like 400, 350. I don't know what it, if you know, that'd be great. So you get half of that plus $600. That's for self-employed. If you're normal unemployed, whatever you're getting originally, so say it's 400, you get the additional 600 on top of it. The 600 is from the federal government. It's not from the state. So when you call unemployment and say, hey, I'm self-employed and I get this benefits, right? They're going to tell you no, because technically that's what they're trained to. You don't get it from the state. You're getting it from the federal government. The federal government and it's mama government coming in and giving you that money. The only sucky part with the state is the state's in charge of giving it out to you. So that's where all the confusion comes from. I will hope, I would hope, I will hope that you guys please just tell um, anybody that's self-employed to please um, be prepared to apply. What, what we're hearing now is a lot of people are saying, don't apply, wait until the new system's up. I don't trust that at all. Apply to both. Um, all right, John says 375 is state um, plus 600 uh, fed, yeah? I think so. So if it's that's it, um, we all self-employed get the max. We get half of the state and the 600, which is like, let's say 800 a month, a week. Um, which is insane, right? I mean, like even the unemployed people, like that's more than you would make. That's more than you make at a job. You get it. Um, I want to say either 13 weeks or four months. I can't get the idea on either. Um, so that's the self-employment, unemployment. If you guys have questions for that, I'm going to kind of stall here for a second to let you guys ask questions on that. Um, but if you know somebody that's self-employed, um, a gig worker, an artist, 
uh, a photographer, a sole proprietor, please, uh, they can either do it now through unemployment, knowing that it'll be ineligible, or they can wait um, a couple days. We're hearing something up till next Friday, so a week from today um, or the week after, depending how the money comes out. I always knew it was going to be two or three weeks. I got my card. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I honestly would recommend you just going to ui.nv.gov, everything that we're, you know, just Google NV unemployment and, and fill that out. Well, who, what will it hurt? If you have to fill out another one, cool. But what if that's the waiting line? What if that's like, we're basing it off everybody that applied there because we applied two weeks ago. Lindsay's self-employed, I'm self-employed, our whole family's self-employed. So I've been following it very closely. None of us are making money. We're all stuck at home. Um, the only thing that I can do in my nerdy, geeky way is um, making sure that I research this. That's how I became a photographer, by the way, because I bought a camera and I took shitty pictures. And then one day I was like, I need to learn. So I, I taught myself. Uh, Tracy, independent contractors like stylists and makers. Yes, yes. If you're self-employed, if you're a sole proprietor, um, you make that money. Um, Joel wrote, from what I'm told, it's more like 233 state uh, plus 600 fed. Hey, Joel, is 233 half of, of state? Does that only, is that the max that people make is 233 a week if they did it? Um, I heard you could get all the benefits faster if you file electronically on tax return. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I haven't heard that. Um, I don't get money back. Um, uh, the, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, are we talking about the unemployment um, or are we talking about, um, the, the cares? Um, okay. So that's unemployment, self-employment. So again, if you know somebody, send them, um, tell them to do it because they, they're, they're just going to not get the money that everybody's getting. You don't really have to do anything. You just fill out the forms and they send you out, they send you a cool MasterCard and whenever that gets loaded, um, then I'll be cool. All right. So Joel said the max is like 468 ish. So yeah, around 233. I mean, shoot, I was going to be happy with, I'll be happy with like 200, but like the 600 I was happy with. So we get other, the other half. Um, and then that'll end at some point, which is why the, you know, the, the regular unemployment is not, they're not going to build a, a update their system. They're just going to build a new system because they're going to kill it one day and maybe have that in the background just in case something else like this may happen again in the future. Um, I did not have to submit my income and expenses uh, when I did my unemployment. Um, it was tricky because nobody has claimed our wages for unemployment. We don't pay unemployment, which is the issue, right? So when I went in and did it, it said that I that zero money was paid to Jeremy Liu, um, which is true because I pay myself. Nobody else paid me uh, W-2 wise. So you have to select a, a section that says um, this is incorrect. And then you go in and then it asks you if... Um, well, if it's incorrect, are you self-employed? Who's your self-employer? And then you have to put your information in. And then I don't actually remember putting in how much I made. I think it asked me for the week of the week that I did it, which was like the 16th through the whatever. I wrote that I would have made 1500. Um, and that was just a magic number. I don't, you know, we're self-employed. We don't know how much we made, but I was like, what's a good number? Um, so I did that, but I think it was just to, to look. I have 31 people watching now. Ooh. Um, okay, so we got that. Now, the next thing that we filed was the EIDL. If you go to sba.gov and click the coronavirus thing up top, it goes to all the different things that you as a coronaviruser um, can, a self-employed person can do. Everything I'm saying is self-employed. So the first thing was um, the EDIL, which, uh, oh God, I'm going to have to do this, right? I'm going to have to go and find it. Um, S ba.gov. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. All right. So if you go to coronavirus, um, follow more. And all right. So the first one is the, um, oh God, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. No, I don't want that either. Small business loans. Oh, it looks like it changed. All right, of course, I've been on this every day and I can't find it now. Okay, so um, learn more about what's available, Corona relief, relief options. So EIDL, can anybody tell me what that stands for? Is it like economic something? Um, well, that's great. I hate you. 
put me on the spot. So the EIDL um, was um, is a um, a loan. I think it was up to two million dollars you can get if you had five hundred employees or more. You get the full two hundred uh, or two million if you can prove that uh, the coronavirus or what's happening to it is not allowing you to work. I have no idea how much we get from it, but that was the first thing I applied for as soon as we could find out. Um, that was actually a very, very easy process to fill out. And if you go on there, you can find it. Fill that out, please. Um, Joel wrote, I forgot to message you about this earlier. I finally contact SBA today for the quick relief, et cetera, loans. It's not three days from application, but from acceptance. Joel, I think I knew that. I think uh, that was what they said on the CARES one too. Um, but I was hoping that you were better than me. So, well, now we're just waiting. Um, so I filled that out and, um, we, next day we get an email saying that it's in review. Um, this is right when everything started happening. This was even before unemployment. And my goal was, is that I could get this loan. Um, Hey, Travis, we could get the, um, the loan and, um, it could cover some of our bills. The cool thing with this loan, it was like a mortgage loan. It was a 30 year at 3.75 and you get as much as you can. Oh, cool. Thanks, Tasha. Economic Injury Disaster Loan, E-I-D-L. Now, E-I-D-L came out, and then once the stimulus pushed out, um, once they did the, the final, once Trump signed the bill, Congress signed the bill, House signed the bill, all the people signed the bills, um, then CARES comes out. Um, and I think I have this right. Um, CARES was a loan, as long as you filled out the E-I-D-L, so you're going to go out and fill out the E-I-D-L, then you can get a $10,000 advance that you do not have to pay back based off that loan. So they're assuming you're going to get that loan. And once you do get that loan, instead of waiting however many days, weeks, or whatever to get that loan, this $10,000 forgivable loan gets to you for that, right? So it's like a little, it's an advance on that loan. Uh, Joel said the estimated 10 to 14 days to hear back. So it's, you, you, you're supposed to get it three days we thought it was three days as soon as you signed up for it. It turns out it's three days from acceptance. So Joel just called uh, Joel Whitefield here. Uh, you can see him on the comments. He actually called SBA today. I think he was, he said he was like number 1571, 1571 in line. Um, so when you're on there, um, it's acceptance. So it's 10 to 14 days and then you get it three days later. I don't know if I got it or not. I'm at that point. And then today is the payment protection program. So um, I have posted a bunch about this. Um, I met a new guy named Justin on Facebook who I've been tagging on a few things. Uh, he has helped me a ton with it. Basically, you fill out a form, make sure you have all your docs together. We're self-employed. So make sure that you have tax returns. Uh, they, uh, they have a few little things approved. I sent everything to him this morning and I'm waiting to hear back if I need to do anything else. Um, but that is a, God, I'm getting confused. That's a loan. Um, and I don't know how much you get or how much it is, but the goal of this is it, it can be 100%. Um, this is for like all businesses. So if you have employees and stuff, you really should do the PPP. This is a huge thing today. All, everybody's talking about it more than, than anything, more than unemployment and all that. But it can be 100% refundable if you prove that you're using it for payroll, rent, and mortgage interests and utilities and other um, which is insane. So if they give you like, I don't know how much, like a hundred thousand dollars and it goes towards your employees, the goal is, is that they're rewarding those people that have kept people on the payroll. Cause a lot of people tossed them. They said, you're fired, you're on furlough, you're doing whatever. But a lot of people are still paying their employees and they're trying to say, thank you for paying them because they're still going to have a job when they come back. Um, here, if you can, we're going to give you this hundred thousand dollars, this 200, this whatever, I think it's up to like 2 million. Um, we're going to give you this money. And if you can pay your employees back pay or what they owe, or you've been paying them the whole time, we're going to forgive that. And it's free, free money, right? Um, I mean, it's our taxes, uh, um, but it's free money. So PPP, um, if you guys haven't done that, please do it. I see some people on here, guys, if you're watching this and you can guide people on where to get PPP, my bank couldn't do it. Um, uh, US bank couldn't do it. Uh, I have this whole thing with US bank right now. And uh, Chase, every time I called, they were closed and that's my bank. Um, so I got a couple of help. I see a couple of people on here who are helping us earlier. So uh, comment and throw your information on there as well. I'll make sure I save this video so you guys can watch it and share it as well. Um, but that's it. I think that's it. 
I think that's it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a weird crying, you know, crazy time right now. Uh, we're all pushing forward. Um, I, 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 I'm just, I'm surprised at the amount of people that don't understand, uh, that, that, that these are out there for us, um, go out, look. So a couple pages that I'm looking at are our senators pages, go on Facebook, type in our senators. Uh, I always mess up Masto's name, so I'm not going to say it. Um, I always do KRNV, ask Joe Hart. Um, I do Nevada Health Link. I do Governor Sisolak. And I also do, um, and then I go to, I just type in, I go to CNN and I look up at their Corona. They have a constant um, update as well. So um, Trey says, waiting for the application to come online at Wells Fargo. Trace, I did mine this morning. Um, I don't know if you, it should be out, man. I mean, it's, it's, I did it, mine's in. So hopefully, you know, they push through. Um, I, I'm hoping it's $349 billion for PPP. So I'm hoping that the uh, payment protection program will last. I don't know how it works. I just want to get my piece of the pie. I just want to be whole again. Um, and that's it. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, and this is, I think worldwide, everything I'm talking about, not just Nevada. I think everybody's trying to figure it out as well. Uh, all the self-employed people, you know, we're, we're getting, uh, no, I didn't do well, Trace. I think mine's actually through United, who I don't have a uh, account with, but I have to create an account at United. Um, but hopefully this helps guys. I, I think I'm out of stuff to talk about. I'll stay up for a little bit longer. If you guys have questions, please ask if you miss something. Um, if you're self-employed, you're not sure where you're at. If you are, um, applied and you don't know where you're at, just know that everybody that's applied for unemployment, we're all ineligible right now. Uh, again, the system's just not updated for us. It was, um, Hope to be updated on the 31st and it wasn't updated. It was hoped to be by today, but then PPP came out. So hopefully it's next week. Um, yeah. So guys, cool thing. I am on zoom now. So I'm on zoom and I I'm using, I'm, the reason I'm on live right now is I'm testing this, but I'm going to start interviewing a bunch of people. I want to do like a video cast because I have a YouTube channel. I'm going to plug all my stuff right now. So I'm going to do that. And um, hopefully you guys watch and follow and we keep it simple and cool like this, but it'll be kind of this setup with like other homies and stuff. So that's it. I feel more people coming on. So it's making me nervous. Usually when you do live, it's like three people on there. Um, and then if you guys go to my page, I've been sharing as much relevant information as I possibly can. I'm not really sharing statistics about the coronavirus itself, but if you guys haven't followed that, please know that we haven't even hit the top of the peak yet. So Get your masks, stay home, don't touch anything. Costco's only letting one person per family going at a time. So if you're going anywhere, just go by yourself. Um, we are cleaning all of our groceries when we come in. We are cutting our packages that we get outside. Um, Uber Eats now will deliver right to your door and leave it on the door and run away. Um, again, this is not the time to have barbecues. This is not the time to go to the grandparents' house. And also, this is not time to be racist at Reno real estate agent companies. Um, WTF, bro. WTF. That's, that's weird. Uh, I couldn't find that guy on Facebook. Otherwise, it would have been a thing. Um, anyways. Okay. I think I'm done. Thank you, guys. Um, thank you, guys. Comment below. I'll stay tuned on this. Uh, I'll go live again if we need anything, but these are all saved here. So um, oh, would you? Oh, oh, I guess I'm not leaving. <laughs> Uh, would you mind repeating what PPP stands for? It's Payment Protection Program. It was made to keep employees of small businesses um, on payroll. So a lot of the companies didn't want to, because we didn't know how long it was going to last, they didn't want to fire them. So they kept it on uh, the payroll. This is a way of rewarding them. Uh, but they also added sole proprietor. So they let us. So theoretically, I'm my own employee. I had to put one for everything. It's just me. But I kept myself on staff. So, you know, that's good for me. Um, I'm trying to make my business owner friends know this as many as are sharing here. So, um, Tracy share this video if you want, but just know that if you're a small business owner with 500 or less employees, this is for them. Uh, simple as that. Um, and guys, if you apply for something, um, if you apply for something, you can just, they'll just tell you no, if it doesn't work, but why not apply? Like, why not just apply before you're like, oh my God, I can't just, just do it. Uh, Trace, where can I get sushi takeout tonight? I, I don't know. You should go to Sierra Gold Seafood, buy fish from them, go home and make some delicious sushi and you and homie can eat together and have a romantic dinner or Pokey King delivers. And there's one next to your house. 
and they deliver via Uber Eats and they're very delicious. <laughs> payroll protection program. Is that what I said, Joel? I don't know if I said payment. No, payroll, payroll. I said payment. Um, yeah, that realtor, man. If somebody finds him. He didn't even care. Uh, is PPP different than disaster relief? Samantha, yes. Uh, they're two totally different things and you should apply for both. So PPP just came out today. You're going to need to do it through a bank. Um, guys, if you have a banker or you have done the loan or anything, please comment, tag the people that are helping you. Um, let's get more people in front of them. I'm tagging the crap out of, of Justin who's helping me, but, but let's just get them on this page. So it's all on one. Uh, Justin, if you're seeing this, put your information on there too, please, or how to get a hold of you. Um, oh, channel two news posted all of the restaurants offering takeout and delivery. Yeah. Oh, 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 snap. Um, uh, my buddy, Bobby, um, wash O hands, W A S H dash O E like wash O, but like wash your wash O hands, find them on Facebook guys. Um, it's a, it's a local marketing company that built a, um, a website that you can find people in need, or if you are in need, um, in our area, you can ask to be, uh, helped as well. They have lists of restaurants that are open. They have lists of how you can help with people, things to do all that fun stuff. Um, they sent me an email yesterday, please. It's local and, and it, it, you can help if you can, or just at least share and post it, but go like their page, tell them I sent you, um, see how you can help their websites, freaking clean and amazing. And they're, we're all local people. Um, I, I'm not part of it yet. <laughs> I'm not part of it, but um, I am pushing through it because I'm all about community and I think it's great. Um, I'm just stuck at home. I'm trying not to go out. So, um, I, you know, I, I can, what I can do is I can share and I can push out. But if you guys want to go out and live your live dangerously, then that's your world. Um, right. SBA loans are from the SBA itself rather than through banks. Uh, DoorDash is a good food delivery. They have good customer service and are fast. If you have any issues, they will. Cool, sis. If you have any issues, they will what? Why would you just do that? Why would you just leave that standing? All right, Trace put up a link here for Wells Fargo. If you guys are, if you're with the bank, I think it's a lot easier. But um, what I'm told is that I was able just to create an account. Uh, if it does, and if, you know, if it's like a $50 savings account or something, I, I don't care. Um, I'll do that. Um, if anything goes wrong with your order, they will make it right. And then some, so what my sister's saying, Melissa right there is if you order from DoorDash, you just tell them something's wrong, whether it's wrong or not, and they'll take care of you. Uh, <laughs> uh, PPP, I believe is through any bank. Yes. Um, any bank, but you should probably contact your bank because they have all your information. <clears throat> and that, I think it's easy or something. I can't, I don't know why, but my bank was closed. I called four branches. I'm at Chase and they were all closed. Um, wait was too long on the phone. I'm not going to play that game. I'm not going to sit on the phone uh, to do stupid crap like that. That's stupid. All right. I'm answering questions. How keeping it going. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, again, feel free to share this, push it out. It's public. So, uh, I know people want to see it, hear it. And hopefully, um, this helps because I I'm, I'm being tagged on a lot of stuff and it's just bad information. A lot of things are going out there and people are getting upset. They don't know what's going on. And they're getting bad information from other things. So make sure you're following the correct sources. Um, you know, our governors, our senators, governor, governor, senators, um, news, we'll all kind of put it together. Although I haven't really seen anybody put this information together the way that they should. Um, Sam, so apply online. No, questions are what we're here for, right? Uh, no, I would call your bank. Um, call your bank and ask them how to apply, go to their Facebook page. They might've even posted something. I know it'll, I got like 40 emails from any, anybody I've ever banked at anybody I've been part of that's part of the PPP or that's doing it has messaged me and said, Hey, if we, we can help you in any way can, I don't know if they get a cut of what you get. That's the only thing I can assume. Cause they're pushing hard. Like I got a lot of emails on it. So, um, go to their Facebook page, go to wherever, any bank that you bank with. If you have multiple banks, check them all and ask them how to apply. Um, it's a paper form that you get. Well, I printed mine, but you know, but it's, yeah, it's like a four pager, right? So you just fill this out and you have to send in your, like, um, your, your taxes and all that stuff. And I did it just for me here. Um, Hannah, I see your message. I'll get back to you soon. Close. <laughs> uh, PPP is only online application. I got a paper trace. I got a paper. I got this, but, but I think I'm going to, I fax this back to them and I think they're going to fill it in for me. So I put everything together for them. So they're going to make it easy. 
But can you guys get the forms online? If you, if you can, can you put the link on there for me? Because I just got the paper. I get direct contact from people that need to get a hold of me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can even write on this. Uh, cool. Um, so I'm tagging uh, Justin. God, how do you say your last name? So- sorry. <laughs> sorry. Justin, sorry. Sorry if I messed that up, man. I'm not good at reading. Um, he's the one that's helping me with everything. I don't know if he's helping a bunch of people or not, but he's my contact. So that's all I know. Um, love you too, sis. Love you too. Buy gift cards. Take advantage of discounts. It's worth it. Um, you can print it and send it, but the apps will be online at your bank. Yeah. So Trace, I think my bank's just doing it or they're going to do it for me. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If this is done with, oh, we're still going. There's still more questions, guys. I'll keep answering as much as I can. So you guys can watch this video from beginning to end. Uh, we're answering a lot of the same things, um, but that's totally, totally chill. Has anybody? Um, so I got my 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 employment my unemployment card. Uh, I activated it. It said I had definitely zero dollars on it. Uh, has anybody? Nobody's gotten self-employment at this point, I'm assuming. Nobody's gotten an SBA loan. Nobody's gotten PPP, obviously, to start when it ran today. And nobody's gotten um, um, CARES, right? Um, what I'm looking for, honestly, is I'm looking for just one person that, that's gotten anything. That way I know that it's like legit. We're all waiting here. We're all doing what we can. We're all going into our savings. We're all staying home. Um, my bank, my mortgage bank won't do anything for us at all. They're jerks and I'm going to refi as soon as I can. Um, but that's kind of where, where I'm at with the whole situation. Everybody else has been chill. My bank, my car loans have, have prorated all my credit card or like have deferred. My credit cards have deferred as well. Um, we're keeping up, but it's an option that's there, which is nice. Some Starbucks have closed. Yep, no unemployment yet, no SBA yet, nothing yet on unemployment or SBA. So we're all in a waiting game. So what, what I hope that means, guys, is that you know that you haven't done anything wrong. You, you're, you, we're going to get it all at the same time. I, you know, and then once we do, uh, Jeremy Lou Photography is still, still rocking weddings. He'll take donations. Uh, um, you know, I wear a medium a shirt. No, I wear a large. A large shirt, 34 pants. Uh, feel free. Like just send shit. I'm cool with it. No Amazon though. I'm anti Amazon. Oh my God. I hate Amazon. Uh, don't do that. Alex. Good. I've applied for the SBA loan. Alex, did you also do the, the, the cares loan, the 10,000 advance on top of that? I can't believe there's still so many people here. It must be like, you have nowhere to go. If you need that link, I can text it to you. Um, I don't need it. I think the people here need it. So if you want to throw it on here, you're more than welcome. Uh, but I, I'm done. I filled out everything. I'll send you a Battleborn photography shirt. Heck yeah, bro. Large. Large. I'll wear that shirt, man. I need a Peloton shirt when I sweat. <laughs> you're welcome, Nicole. Nick, Nick, is it Nicola? Nicola. Sorry, I just saw Nicole. Cool. Yeah. Uh, feel free to send guys use this forum. There's a ton of people coming on and off. I'm going to leave this on. So any important relevant information, please put it on here. People are going to be commenting and going through it the whole time. I'll try to go live every couple days or so. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be using this forum to interview a lot of people. So, um, I have this, I'm a YouTube channel. I'd like to start a podcast and, um, I'm just testing it all out on zoom. I was using a weird system before and it, it kept falling and it works. This is way better. It's helping. Um, Nicola. Sorry, that's how I'm gonna remember your name. Normally, I do that in private, but that's not happening. All dresses up, hair. Yeah, I got I got a shower today. I got ready. Actually, I've been in here since 9 a.m. I did four hours of emails and so forth. I did one TikTok. Uh, hey, are you guys on TikTok? Find me, Jeremy Lou. I'm on TikTok. Elizabeth, I would love to interview you if you're serious. I'm, I'm creating a list here. So 
I'm uh, trying to do one every single day and it's literally going to be hour long interviews of just chatting. Um, unscripted. I don't know the name of it. I, I know I need a cool name, but um, I want to interview people, not necessarily just about coronavirus, but like what you do, who you are and all that stuff. But right now, obviously we're going to talk about coronavirus a lot. Um, my hair looks amazing. I wonder who does my hair. Well, okay. Here's the deal with my hair. Trace does my hair, but he's been closed. And <laughs> so uh, my wife cuts my hair. Uh, now she's been cutting it. So she just trimmed it up a little bit, but Trace does my hair and I have to use like pomade or uh, no gel and I blow dry it up and then I have to do a sting and then, and then a gel or something and then a spray. And then it sits here for a bit. That's pretty chill. Cool. Elizabeth, will you send me a message? Um, I'm going to be messaging people as I go, but I want to set up whatever. Uh, Ben, yeah, we could totally interview on guns and COVID. I know more about one than the other. I don't know if you know what I know more about. I was going to go to Shields, but they're closed. I was going to buy some guns and then realize I don't know how to shoot them. So uh, I'm going to make some bow and arrows. <laughs> yes. Ndidi, we can totally do that. Um, yeah, message me if you guys are interested in it. It, it. You know, it'll be sometime this month, but um, I'm lining up people. So I can do one a day and then I'll throw them. What we're going to do is we're going to go live on Facebook and then I'll throw them on YouTube and all that as well. That way people can answer questions as we go. But I really want to, uh, I really want to use this forum as much as I can. Um, and I listen to podcasts all the time and I feel like I'm like the next Dax, you know, I can do it. I'm just talking to people. Then I get bored. The only thing that I'm nervous about is people's names. I'm not really good with saying names. Like I, I look at your names and like, even if I know you, I'm like, ah, Ben, is his name Ben? Like, I can't even say that word. I freak out. Uh, I know a good deal on both. Ben, I just need a gun, man. If you just want to drop a gun off. I haven't had to shoot anybody yet. I mean, I don't know. This whole Asian thing is being weird. Uh, if you guys didn't see that post, there's a guy in Reno, Jeffrey Lawrence, who is obviously against Asians, which is fine. Like, you don't have to like Asians, but don't think that we created the coronavirus. Blame Corona, who today closed <laughs> their beer. That's sad. Yeah, Melissa, please share. Thank you so much. All right, Lynn, thank you. Uh, bro, here's a link. You can file your PPA, P <laughs> PPA, uh, PPP here, Corona relief options, guys. You can check that out. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Senator Masto, her page is where I'm getting a lot of unemployment information because they're on top of it. They're pushing for it. What they're saying right now is they're just waiting on the federal money. That's it. So it was released, but we don't have it, um, which is actually really freaking frustrating. They keep talking about it. They keep talking, you know, it took four days to sign. And I was like, all right, like what, what is somebody physically dropping off cash somewhere? I mean, just send the freaking money over. Nevada, you get this many's. Okay, yeah, got it, Ben. There's me winking, bro. Can't give me a gun. Well, then bow and arrow it is. See if I can defend people with bow and arrows. Cool, guys. I'm going to stop at 5.30, so I have eight minutes here because I like even numbers, and I have to go cook dinner. But hopefully you guys are learning something. Hopefully you guys feel a little more inspired here. Uh, my sister said, oh, my God, I had someone hold their breath when they walked past me because they knew I was Asian. But that's OK, because they usually think I'm Hispanic. Are you sure it's because of that, sis? Are you sure? My pit and shepherd are my guns. Gum. I know, You meant guns, right? Because <laughs> it says gums. It definitely says gums. These are my guns. Oh, man, that looks sad. Oh, man. Oh, wrong side. I know, voters. Hope my niece is being treated poorly. She's an RN at Asian Fran. Oh, is that, is that at? Oh, San Fran. <laughs> in in San Fran. Okay, got it. Uh, I think it was Asian Fran. Uh, my brother-in-law is Japanese. You know, here's the thing. Like, there's cool stereotypes that I like about being Asian. You know, like, uh, I always joke, like, I have to put a sock in my pants, stuff like that, I'm bad driver, whatever. Um, but I can say that, but that's not even a stereotype at this point. If you think that Asian people carry the coronavirus, 
It's insane. If you think it's from filth, uh, it's insane. Like we have it here. Are we filthy here? And, um, but the other thing that bothers me about this guy is that his arrogance, um, his, his, you know, whatever. So if something happens to his business, cool. Sometimes, you know, people apologize and I'm like, I get it, bro. Um, bro, do a zoom on how you prepare your jackfruit. I never tried it. Go to whole foods. You can get jackfruit. I, I think you have sprouts too. jackfruit in the can. It comes in a can, or you can go to sprouts and just go to, um, go to the vegan section and get a thing of like chili lime jackfruit. They have barbecue jackfruit gets two pieces of bread, put the jackfruit on a skillet for two minutes, cook it like you're cooking tuna so it doesn't burn, and then done. Put on there a little bit of, a little bit of mustard, some cheese, some tomatoes, and it's it. Jackfruit tastes like a mixture of shredded chicken and uh, tuna with the texture. It doesn't taste like tuna at all. Um, it has kind of like a slight acidy flavor, um, but it tastes meaty. It's really good. Jackfruit. It'll save your life. You're filthy. You're filthy there. I ain't filthy. Bruh. I feel like the, the visual on this could be higher. Oh, I muted myself. I think I muted myself. Cool. Awesome, guys. All right, so uh, five-minute recap. Uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can. I'm going to try not to let this die out. <sighs> If, you, if you're self-employed, actually, if you're, you know, anything, if you're self-employed, you need to apply for unemployment um, because you get it under the pandemic. If you own a business, you have the uh, economic disaster, EIDL, whatever that's called, and then CARES as well. Um, but that's also for sole proprietors. So that's us as well. And then if you, uh, if you are alive and run a business, have a business, don't work for somebody else, uh, e I D or no, uh, PPP payment protection program ran out today, tagged a bunch of people, go through the comments. People are putting links and stuff. Find those links, apply, apply sooner than later. What's going to happen is the money's going to get dispersed. It's going to go in some sort of order. Hopefully the order that we signed up on, cause I signed up freaking early and we don't know if it's going to run out. We don't know what's going to happen. Um, and you, you just need to be part of it. If you're waiting for things to happen, you might just be put behind. I even heard Trump on CNN yesterday say it could be up till summer for unemployment to come through. Um, hopefully not. Like we're not hearing that locally, but you know, you know, when you listen to, yeah, you know, you listen to Trump. It's like, uh, then I have to listen to fact checkers at the same time. Um, I'm sure some of it's, you know, so hopefully nobody fact checks me. Uh, typos. I have no idea how San Fran came out because you did, uh, you hit the A instead of the capital for the S. <laughs> You're welcome, kids. Yes, sir. I'm still your hair cutter. Yes, you are, sir. Uh, if you open a speakeasy, let me know. Don't tell people, but use a password. Cool, guys. Okay, I'm out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, follow the YouTube, follow my business page, uh, follow me share this, do all the promotional stuff. If you guys are on TikTok, find me on TikTok. If you don't know what TikTok is, get on TikTok. You're at home doing nothing, do something. And uh, that's it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will be posting this on YouTube as well. So you guys will be able to check that out. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Hasta la vista, baby. Ooh, is that copywritten? Hmm. Hmm. How do I stop this? Stop it, fool. Freaking stop. And meeting.